What's up, everybody? Before I begin, I know I haven't posted in a really long time, and I have no excuse except that I didn't have any ideas. If you guys could help me come up with ideas for future videos, that would be fantastic. Anyway, something that I have been up to is this. The stupidly simple 50 dart Talon drum mag, or the overheat drum. The overheat drum is a mostly 3D printed drum magazine that is compatible with Talon mag wells. The halves can easily come apart with the removal of four screws to allow for loading, and the only hardware required is some M4 screws and nuts, a 608 bearing, a metal pin, a clock spring, and some steel wire. If you would like to 3D print this yourself, I linked the printables page down in the description, the required hardware, and the link to the clock spring and steel wire that I used. If you don't have a 3D printer and would like a drum mag, leave a comment and check the pinned comment for whether I have started selling them or not. All the models can fit onto a bed size of 205 by 205 millimeters, and supports are only needed for the screw and nut holes and the top of the magazine. There are pretty much no print-to-print -print fitting, so tight tolerances are not needed. All parts can run off in PLA, except for the straight spring which needs to be printed in PETG, or you can also use a metal spring. Once you have all the parts printed and the hardware gathered, you can start assembly by placing a 6 way bearing into the center hole of the main follower. Ensure it fits snugly and is fully pressed in. Place the 2x10mm pin into the hole on the main follower. Super glue suggested to hold the pin in, but I've had no problems with only friction. Place the other end of the pin into the center of the outer end of the clock spring and flatten the end around the pin. Then you can remove the pin from the spring. Cut the inner end of the spring to be shorter than 6mm and place that end into the slot on the back body piece. Note the direction. It would be super annoying to realize that you put the spring in the wrong way. Now put the main follower into place, putting the pin into the outer end of the spring. Next, glue the stray spring to both the front and the back follower pieces on each end. I'll tell you what to do with the straight follower once we get to loading. To finish things off, place M4 nuts into each of the hex holes on the front body and screw the body pieces together with the M4 by 10 mm screws going on the outer holes and the M4 by 14 screw going in the middle. The loading process is fairly simple. Undo the screws and wind the main follower back 3.5 rotations, then place the straight spring in the innermost section of the main follower. Make sure it does not unwind and fill all segments with two darts each. I like to use a hex key stuck in one of the channels while loading to keep it from unwinding. Once you've done that, keep a hold on the main follower until you put the other body part on and screw the halves together. Fill the straight portion with darts and congratulations, you have 50 or so darts ready to be fired off. Loading takes a little over 4 minutes, but that can easily be cut down with practice. Keep in mind that as of posting this video, the overheat drum is still in early testing and is by no means optimized. What this means though is that you can go and download the step file that I've also linked in the printables page for free and do whatever you want with the model. Things that I hope to add are different sizes of straight mag sections, user latching systems, different mag compatibility, and many more. So if you want to help, feel free to, and happy printing. See ya.